My network situation is a horror show. I'm working to clean it up, but every patch cord I have is either too long or too short, or the clip is broken, and as a rain blows upon them, I realize there had to be another way. Well, this is the way. We're installing our own RJ45 connectors to make our own Ethernet cables that are the perfect length. Why am I saying we? I'm the only one here. Anyways, it's not that this is a difficult job to do, but you will need your own crimper like this one, and it makes life a lot easier if you have a cable tester. I got this on Amazon. It was 25 bucks. came with the cable tester. There are better, more expensive ones out there. You probably want to get if you're going to do this for a living, but for my purposes, this worked just fine. Now, whether you're using Cat5e cable or Cat6 cable, I really don't care. The method for attaching connectors is exactly the same for both. Now, for your own sanity, use pass-through style RJ45 connectors. These are the connectors where you stick the wires all the way through the connector and then trim them. There are other styles, but they'll only make you hate your life trying to get the wires all lined up perfectly. So just get the pass-through. They're the way to go. All right, let's get into this. Start by cutting the cable to the correct length. You can use old patch cables that you already have laying around the house, or you can use fresh cable out of the box. doesn't really matter. If you're using a relief boot, slide it onto the cable right now. Next, strip the sheath of the cable two or three inches to reveal the inner wires. If you're using CAT6 wire, it will also have a plastic spline separating the twist that you'll need to cut off. Untwist the wires and straighten them as best you can with your thumb or a pliers. Now arrange the colored wires in the T568B standard order which is the most common for home network use. The truth is it doesn't really matter what order you put them in as long as the same on both ends of the cable, but just use this order to make it easier. If you're shortening a patch cable that already has a connector on one end, you need to make sure that you arrange the wires in the same order for the new connector. Once you have the wires in order, line them up tight and cut the ends flush. Now, making sure the metal pins are facing up, insert that group of wires into the open end of the RJ45 connector and push the wires through the little holes and out the other end of the connector. Make sure the wires are still in the same order after they're pushed through as sometimes they get a little jostled around. If they switch around, pull them out and try again. If you're using a patch cable that has stranded wires, those can be very flexible and it can be hard to push them all in at the same time and keep them straight. In that case, it is sometimes just easier to push them in one at a time. However you get the wires in their respective holes, once they're all in properly, pull the wires through until the twists are in the base of the connector. Then insert the connector into your crimper and get your crimp on. I apologize, that is not how an adult should talk. Anyway, squeeze hard on the crimper, and this feat of strength pushes the gold contacts into the wires and cuts off the excess wires sticking through the connector, leaving a nice, clean, beautifully crimped RJ45 connector that you can show off to all your friends. And that's pretty much it. Now you can slide the relief boot into place and then do the same process again on the other side of the cable. The only question now is, did you do a good job? I believe in you, but this is where a network cable tester comes in handy. Plug one end of the cable in one port and the other end into the other port and turn it on. If the light sequence matches on both ends, congratulations, you did something right for once. If the sequence is reversed on one side, you put one of the connectors on backwards. If a light is not lighting up, there's a bad connection in the wire and you'll probably have to redo one or both of the connectors. And if the lights are lighting up in a random order, you're probably colorblind and maybe go see an eye doctor about that. That's all there is to it. Feel free to air your grievances about this video or anything else really down in the comments below. I have affiliate links. A portion of the proceeds for this video are going to the Human Fund. And now that you know how to wire up your own Ethernet cable, you might as well learn how to wire up an Ethernet jack as well by watching this video right here. Happy Festivus, everybody.